overflows inner orgasm with your own polar opposites within if you can experience death in sex sex will become spiritual it will become meditation this is the beginning of the process of transformation by death i mean the solution of the body the solution of the body consciously no more awareness of the body if this happens even for a single moment you will not remain the same at this first layer of orgasm awareness of the body and body consciousness disappears therefore in the moment of sex the first experience is of the dissolution or disappearance of the body once you can know it with the outer woman or outer man with the beloved or the lover it will be easy for you to move into meditation and create the same phenomenon within that you have known without in deep meditation a sexual orgasm happens not with someone outside you but with your own polar opposite i have said that man is afraid of both sex and death that is why these are taboos no one talks about sex and about death we remain silent about those two things we have remained silent for centuries and centuries they are taboo subjects they should not even be mentioned the moment they are mentioned something starts trembling within us it seems that there is a deep repression that is why we have created substitute words in the western world they do not say we are having sex instead they say we are making love can love be made love is realization it is a substitute word and false because love is a totally different phenomena and happens in a different dimension having sex is having sex it is not making love love may include sex but love has an altogether different quality we never talk directly about death if someone dies we use substitute words we say he has gone to the father or he has gone to the heaven or he has gone beyond death is never faced directly why is there taboo about only these two things they are deeply related to one another the reason for their relationship is this first you are born out of sex birth is sex and birth and death are two poles of one thing in birth death is hidden that is why only man becomes aware of the deep relationship between sex and death death cannot happen without sex just as birth cannot happen without sex if you can experience the moment of death the dissolution of the body consciously during the moments of your play that you enjoy you will have a totally different experience of life and way of living sex and death are deeply related 
in another sense too. In a deep sex act, you feel a certain death. You are no longer. If you have really gone totally into the act, you will be, you are merged. Your individual identity disappears and a greater force than you takes over. The sex act begins as a voluntary act but never ends as a voluntary act. A point comes where your voluntary mechanism is taken over by non-voluntary mechanism. A point comes when your conscious mind is thrown off and the unconscious takes over. A point comes when your ego cannot exist and non-ego is in power, in control. You feel a sudden death of ego. You feel you are dying. So sometimes people experience that or they get the vision that in sex the person, your lover or beloved has died. That is why people who are egoistic cannot achieve sexual orgasm. They cannot be in a let go. They cannot allow their unconscious to take over. They remain totally conscious and try to control the whole process. Then they cannot achieve the deep sexual orgasm which is very essential for the process of transformation to set in motion. The more civilized man becomes, the less possibility there is of orgasm. The blissful moment when your ego is lost and you are merged into existence is a certain death, death of ego, death of the conscious, death of your individuality. The same fear comes in meditation. It is again going to be a deep orgasm, similar in many ways to a sexual orgasm. In a sense, exactly the same. Those who have known or gone deeper into the meditation, they will know this. Now, modern psychology, particularly Jungian psychology, has come to discover a concept, a very old tantric concept. Tantra says that every man and woman is too biosexual. They are separate, but each is biosexual. No man is simply man. He is, in a way, woman as well. Because your body has come into existence with the interaction of ovum and sperm. And the ovum and sperm they have their emotional and psychological effect on your personality. And no woman is simply woman. Deep down, there is a man hidden. So every individual, man or a woman, is biosexual. The other is hidden beneath. That's why sometimes you find the Man has the both aspects, the femininity and the masculinity. And the best way of life and living is when the two are balanced. Your femininity and masculinity both are balanced and you use these as the need arises. Sometimes you need to have the the vulnerability, the delicacy of a woman. Other times you need 
I strong the strength that is masculine strength. In deep meditation, a sexual orgasm happens. This does not happen with someone outside you, instead with your own polar opposite within. You meet there, your woman and your man meet one another. The meeting is spiritual, not bodily. They penetrate each other, both yin and yang, Shiva and Shakti, anima and animus, they penetrate each other. They become one and merge. That's why in the subsequent sessions, I will explain the three layers of orgasm, three types, the physical, the emotional, and the energy. Meditation is a deep sexual orgasm between your two polar opposites. The same fear comes again. If you move deeply into meditation, one day, sooner or later, you will come to know. Now the last moment has come. Death is going to occur. Now I will die. Fear will grip you. In that fear, you may come back. If you come back, you have missed the great opportunity. It comes only rarely, very rarely. Lives and lives pass before this rare moment comes when you start feeling a deep orgasm within. Once this happens, you can live totally in that state. The inner woman and the inner man are meeting. Your two polar opposites are penetrating each other, becoming one. You are at the moment when you can become the whole. But there will be fear because the ego will be lost. You, as you know yourself, the image will be lost. You will die something else will emerge. A new being, not related at all with the old one, discontinuous with the old one, will there, will be there, but you will die as you are. With all your past, fear comes. If you can experience death in sex, sex itself becomes a spiritual, it becomes a meditation. Once you can know it with the outer woman or outer man, with the beloved or lover, it will be easy for you to move into meditation and create the same phenomena within that you have known without. That you have known without enough for now.